Qatar attends an African Union meeting where world leaders renewed complete support for Palestine. Qatar Fund steps up with millions to help vulnerable children get into schools. These two World Cup stadiums from Qatar are in the headlines. Stick around to find out why. And finally, the Qatar ExxonMobil Open 2023 kicks off tonight. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The African Union has expressed its complete support for Palestinians in their ongoing fight against Israeli occupation. As part of the final declaration of the AU's summit in Addis Ababa, which was also attended by representatives from Qatar. In the statement, the AU condemned ongoing Israeli crimes against Palestinians, including forced dispossessions, settlement expansions, and apartheid. While Israel holds diplomatic ties with 46 African countries, its status in the bloc is under dispute. On Saturday, an Israeli representative was ejected from the meeting. Qatar Fund for Development pledged $20 million on Sunday to back the United Nations Education Cannot Wait initiative. The donation will support children around the world who have been denied their right to access education due to crisis in their home nations. The fund's chief said, quote, education is a driving force to advance humanity. It serves as the foundation of human and economic development and is key for achieving an equitable, just and peaceful future for all. Now, the largest stadium in Qatar, Lusail Stadium, which held the final of the 2022 FIFA World Cup, has been listed among 23 stadiums worldwide, competing for the Stadium of the Year award. Stadium DB, one of the world's leading platforms dedicated to football arenas, will announce the winner of the vote. And on that note, another World Cup venue, the innovative Stadium 974, has influenced a property developer in Zimbabwe. The developer has already started constructing the shopping complex using 60 shipping containers in the city of Gweru. And finally, one of Qatar's most eagerly anticipated annual event has arrived, Qatar ExxonMobil Open. The tournament features many world-class tennis stars, including Britain's Andy Murray, and is set to run up till Saturday. All matches will take place at Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex. Well, what are you waiting for? Tickets are out now. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.